for something arty and something Chinese, a half day walking tour through Bangkok's Chinatown makes for a fascinating visit. Part of the latest urban art festival, some of international and local street artists have added graffiti to the walls of the city's oldest neighborhood. Just like an open air gallery, the graffiti makes the old Chinatown well worth revisiting. The easiest way to explore the graffiti is to travel on foot through Bangrak district and stopping along the Lengkung Road. In this narrow lane, artists with the strange names of Alex Face, Cult and Bonus have turned a long and solid concrete wall into a piece of art. In the Lengkung side 30, just a short walk from the Royal Orchid Sheraton, you will find a huge black and white stencil gravity. This is the work of Italian artists Stern and Lex. They are known for stencils and there is more than just street art. In this area, the oldest neighborhood too plays a role. Chinatown is as old as Bangkok itself. It is a mishmash of noise, movement, smells and more. As you slip into the maze of narrow passages, you will enjoy a real adventure. Here, in an alley of San Zhao Rongke, you will find the work of a Spanish muralist. Carry on walking and you are in the backyards of the Hakka and Hokkien Chinese communities. While the Hakka are known as master of shoes, the Hokkiens are blacksmiths. To achieve a better life, they go to different shrines and worship different gods. The shrines themselves are well worth a detour. The subjects of the street murals depend on the artists themselves. A Romanian illustrator has come up with a cute tiger on the pink wall on Trimit Road. But the Spanish artist has taken over a high wall for his rendering of a bicycle. More quirky and wild artwork can be found on Songwat Road, where a Belgian artist has depicted two elephants in strange positions. The black and white painting takes up almost the entire wall of a three-story shop house and is so big that it can be seen by commuters on the nearby river.